Let me be real, when I heard that Kristen Bell was dating Dax Shepard, I didn't even know who Dax Shepard was. After I found out, I was even more shocked thinking, why would such an angel go with a guy like this? And I'm guessing I was not the only one who had such a reaction. But now, after hearing their love story, I believe Dax is Kristen's soulmate. Stay with me to hear their fairy tale love story, it may change your mind as well. I bet you are just as excited as I am, if not more, about the new Frozen movie that is going to premiere on November 22nd. It took them almost five years to make the second movie, but it's finally here. I gotta say, Kristen Bell had my heart with Veronica Mars, so when I heard her in Frozen, my heart dropped. And then I watched her grace our screen with my new favorite series, The Good Place, every week. And now, Frozen 2? I just can't… How perfect can one be? Let me tell you a little bit about her Disney-like childhood story before talking about her marriage to Dax. Born in Michigan in a Christian family, Belle was raised with her mother who was a nurse and her father who worked as a television news director in Las Vegas. But that family dynamic did not last that long since her parents divorced when she was two years old. She attended Shrine Catholic High School and was part of the drama and music club. Soon she was named as the yearbook's best-looking girl, just like all the princesses out there. This is how perfect Belle was. While she was in school, she starred in many productions, such as The Wizard of Oz, in which she played Dorothy Gale. And right after her graduation, she moved to New York to attend Tisch School of the Arts, studying musical theater. A living example of a good girl with all the possibilities and chances needed to make a name for herself. The only thing Belle and Dax have in common up until here is that they're both from Michigan. Oh, and that Dax's parents also got a divorce when he was a kid. But Dax's life was so much darker. Shepard had a lot of struggles with substance abuse. As he confessed in his interview on the off-camera show, there is a couple of common fallacies about sobriety. One of them is that people hit a bottom. And he's had so many of them. In the same interview, he went on to explain one of the days that he hit rock bottom. Earlier on a Friday, he had purchased enough illegal substances for the next week and a half. But then he has no recollection of what happened after that. After he woke up, it was all gone. He had used it all. All the bottles, boxes, and bags were empty. His memory was so blurry that he didn't even know if he took them in one night or over the course of the weekend. That's how long his blackout was. When he checked, it was Monday. He had already missed three days. He called his mom crying because he was so scared. You might assume that that would be it, but there was a good year of use which went even beyond this and it became even more life-threatening for Dax. The moment that made him sober was during a vacation in Hawaii, a holiday that turned out to be a disaster. He was hammered and sick all the time from all the substance use. On his way back, he had a layover in San Francisco on his way from Hawaii to LA. Dax confessed that he was so sick that he had to go to the bar to get a drink or two to be able to hold on a bit longer to get home. In the bar, while drinking, he had this moment where he took stock of his life and saw that he literally had all he had dreamed of, but he was nowhere close to happiness. That was when he realized it was time for a big change. With this background, you see why people were not happy with Kristen and Dax pairing, but let's find out how this pairing happened first. In 2007, Kristen and Dax met at a Detroit Red Wings game. It sure was not love at first sight. Shepard was suspicious of the unbridled happiness Belle and her friends seemed to have. In his interview with Good Housekeeping, Dax said that he thought something stank there, that Kristen and her friends were in a cult. But soon he started to see the world through Belle's glasses. Opposites attract at its best. They had two completely different backgrounds. Dax believed that the world was full of wolves and that there was no way anyone was acting with any kind of benevolence. But then he met Kristen, who basically is an embodiment of all that, and his whole world collapsed. He realized how much goodness and beauty can be in a human being. She was the type that if she saw a dog on the street lost with a leash, she would get out of her car and spend all day finding the owner of it. Two weeks after the first time they met, they ran into each other again, and that is when they had the sparkle. And as you all know, love always wins. So, despite their huge differences, they started dating. Even though they were head over heels in love, at first, just like any other couple, there were things they did not trust about each other. But there were also things that they loved in each other. You know how toxic love can sometimes be. They were madly in love, but they were completely opposite. 
In an interview, Kristen confessed that at the beginning of their relationship, she was in love with a dramatic exit. They would get into a fight, since they were fighting a lot, and she would yell something and slam the bedroom door, and then the front door, and then she would get into the car and skid out of the driveway, and would sit around the corner in her car, probably thinking just like all the love stories on TV, he would come and beg for her to go back. Since this whole thing made her feel really good, she didn't realize the destructive effect it had on their relationship until Dax pointed it out. Three months into their relationship, Shepard told her she can't leave during fights anymore. He had very high standards and a strong code of ethics, so he told Bell that if she was going to keep doing this, he was not going to stay in that relationship. That he loved her, but he had more respect for himself and he wasn't going to deal with this his whole life. The fact was that Dax was still not sure if he wanted this relationship as much as Kristen did. He was wondering if he wants to be with a Christian who has eight people living in her house for free. Was he ready for someone who always gives people the benefit of the doubt? He wasn't fearful he was going to lose her. He was wondering if he really wanted to be with someone this good. In an interview with Pop Sugar, Belle confessed that she already knew she was in love with him by three months in, but he was hesitant. He was still dating other people while he was with Belle. So one day he sat her down and said, I can't have this right now. I think you're wonderful, but I am still dating other people. As disappointing as this might sound and as liquefied as Kristen felt at that very moment, she also felt incredibly respected that Dax had the courage to tell her they were not on the same page in their relationship. Four days later, Dax called her and said that it was true he was dating someone else, but they just were not as interesting as Kristen, and he didn't know why he broke up with Kristen. So that is how they went back to being a couple. But this time they tried to work harder on their relationship. Shepard told Kristen that they should try hard to police themselves about becoming contemptuous of each other. He said if he ever saw Kristen rolling his eyes at him, they need to hit pause and figure out what was going on in their relationship. That probably was about the time when they decided that they had to go to couple therapy to help build a beautifully loving relationship with hard work. From 2008 to 2009, the couple had their first project together playing in When in Rome, and that is when Belle decided to open up about their relationship. She told Women's Health about creating a safe zone with Shepard. Kristen admitted that she's learned the necessity for healthy communication how important it is to talk about your deepest, darkest fears and feelings. She believes that your partner should hear your most embarrassing insecurities because once you say them out loud, you've created a safe zone. Probably that is how they took their relationship to the next level and got engaged a year after this in 2010. They actually got engaged over the holidays in 2009 but went public with it on the red carpet in February 2010. As Kristen confessed in her interview with People, she had never loved dating. It was very uncomfortable for her to put herself out there and be vulnerable. She was so happy to be officially done with dating and couldn't have been more in love. This lady for sure is full of love and joy. In 2012, the couple showed up on the screen together one more time for the movie Hit and Run, which Shepard directed, wrote, and produced. In an interview Dax had with Playboy, he talked about his wild relationship with Belle, saying, Kristen's a good girl. She grew up very Christian, went straight to college, did great in school, and started work immediately. She's charitable and philanthropic and rescues dogs. All the things I'd done were terrifying to her, and she had a hard time believing I would ever be able to stay married and monogamous and a father and all those things. For the first year and a half we were together, that was what we battled over almost weekly. But then it seems like all the effort they put into their relationship worked out. Even though they had postponed their wedding, up until their gay friends were given the right to get married, that didn't stop them from starting their family. The couple welcomed their first daughter, Lincoln, in March 2013. A few months after the birth of their daughter, the Supreme Court legalized same-sex marriage in California, and in honor of that, Kristen proposed to Dax through Twitter. Finally, in October 2013, after being engaged for four years, Belle and Shepard got married in the Beverly Hills Courthouse. Then it was time to expand their family. The couple announced the arrival of their second daughter, Delta, in December 2014. And a year after that, they credited therapy for their happy marriage. In her interview with Entertainment Tonight, Kristen talked about how their relationship was not perfect. They had a couple years of fighting and of growing pains and hating each other, then loving each other, then going to couples therapy. That is how they earned each other back. Love always wins.
Two years after that, in July 2016, they celebrated Shepard's 12 years of sobriety as a family and he gave partial credit to his wife for helping him along the way. In an interview with Ellen, Kristen opened up about her husband's struggles with substance abuse and staying sober, saying how seeing the world through his eyes has really opened her eyes to know that addiction is a disease and nobody is choosing to drink more than others. To Kristen, what is really important is that Dax was an addict for many, many years and he pulled himself out of it, that he knows how many times he's messed up and how many times he's been really close to losing everything. And that experience is why he knows the value of things now, more than others. Even though I have only talked about Dax Shepard's dark past and how Kristen changed his life for the better, there are also things about Kristen that have changed because of Dax. The fact that now she no longer is silent about her depression and is able to open up about her struggles is only because of Dax. When Kristen was 18, her mother sat her down and she talked to her about the serotonin imbalance that is in her family line. Her grandmother was one of the first people they tested electroshock therapy on, so there was a possibility for her to feel like a dark cloud was following her as well. Belle's mom told her that it was okay to ask for help and talk to doctors if she needed it, that she had options. Later, in college, Kristen stopped feeling herself and there was no reason or logic behind it, so that is when she knew she needed help. Kristen got on a prescription to help with her anxiety and depression and she still takes it to this day. But only recently has she openly talked about it, probably because of the courage Dax has given her. He sure is the perfect partner for Kristen. Despite everything this couple has been through, they check in with themselves as a couple and individually as much as they can and work on their relationship to have a happy, healthy and beautiful family. I know that Shepard doesn't want people to see the perfect couple, but if this is not the actual definition of hashtag couple goals, I don't know what is. I mean, who gets a sloth for his wife's birthday? There is so much love in the air in that house. What do you guys think? After hearing about Kristen Bell and Dax Shepard's love story, are you convinced that they were made for each other? Let's talk about that in the comments and remember to become a part of our Curiosips family by subscribing to our channel. Until next time.